Good luck! And we are underway with race number three. So our featured runners, all of them have the Razor Shield drop. No real calamities there, but Bryce Solf is going to have the whole shot. He'll be the first one out, but CHX and Talio not that far behind. Now again, Jackvis did get a late start, but it's the times that are posted after the dot done that count. So we will take that into consideration if it were to be very, very close. Well, opening orb drop there for Telio 1 and Bryceolf as well. Are they going to get any weapons to complement that orb? There's a rocket drop for Jackamus and vulnerability for CHX, so... Drops not favoring CHX at the moment a foot, and it is going to be Bryceolf at a buck fifteen, a very good time. But here's the form now for Jackamus. Meanwhile, CHX just getting absolutely hosed here in collect power ups. No real good drops. He's going to need to see. Need to start seeing some of these drops come up here and eat my shrapnel. If he doesn't have it by the time total carnage arrives, and right oh no, yeah, right into the arms of a waiting swirl there from the right door. Man, CHX just having an awful run at the moment, and who knows? Like I said, this is how random Super Smash TV can be. And right now, the second place holder in easy percent could be on the ropes, but he does get an orb. He needed that. Total Carnage for Telio. Jackamus just entered Total Carnage as well. Bryceolf is there too. Not really getting any weapon drops as Telio or Bryceolf, but there's a Razor Shield and Telio drops the orb. Oh, wow. Jackamus gonna get his orb back. Almost lost it there. And a, a smart bomb on the foot, that'll give him a little bit of a breather there. Now another Razor Shield here for Bryceolf. That Smart Bomb boy, good use there by Bryceolf. 247 into the bonus room? Wow. Insane! He is miles ahead of the rest of the featured runners. I'm talking 20 seconds, and CHX and has made up a lot of ground because Telio 1 and Jackamus didn't really have a very good total carnage there, and CHX goes from being vulnerable to now second of our four featured runners. But tank trouble can certainly be an equalizer as enemies seem to be coming from all directions and relentlessly. Good smart bomb use there by Bryceolf. He was not getting the weapon drops he needed to get those gunners off, but that that breather enabled him to take off that second gunner. Both gunners are off for CHX. Only one off for Talia 1, but he still has the orb intact. There's a foot which will increase his speed temporarily. And he's looking, and dude, all these one-ups here. Nice rocket drop for Jackmas, but drops the orb. But Bryceolf sub four into Mutoid, man. He's on a blistering pace here. Opening drop rockets, that's great. That'll be good to take off the gunners in front of Mutoid Man. Pretty much a game of who's going to be the second one to get into Mutoid Man. It looks like it's Jackamus by just a... No, make that CHX. Jackamus right behind, followed by Tally One. Those three are neck and neck. Boy, that could be close between those three. Oh, boy. Putting Spreader Drive. He's going to try to get the manual on. Doing really good there. Got all of the... Uh, 
ammunition off and still there. Oh, that vulnerability came too late there for Jackums. If that would have been one drop earlier, that would have been huge for him. Rice off with the lobber, consistent dealing damage here. First arm pops off for CHX. Penultimate form now for Bryce off. Again, hasn't been getting awesome weapons. Yes, he's been getting lobbers, but he's looking for that spreader. There's a spreader, but it's now the final form. So now you're not going to get that extra damage with the spreader. So he's just going to ignore that spreader. Keep the rest of that lobber. He'll get rockets. Now he's looking for one more lobber. That's an invulnerability. That is no good. It's in a bad spot as well. But look at that. Price off with the final wow. My goodness, what a time there for Bryce off. An amazing run by the world record holder. Right now, CHX in the penultimate form, and he's got a spreader. Oh, this could be huge. He could be the second one to finish. Penultimate form for Jackamus. Telia one gets a spreader. He'll be able to do some damage, and CHX will be moving on to the next round as well. Remember, he got off to that real poor start, but he finished strong, and he's moving on. To the final four. Telio in the final four, but gets run over by Mutoid Man. But Jackimus needs some weapons here. He could be going home. Final form. And that looks to be the case here is Telio with the dot done, Mr. Dino with the dot done. So Jackimus is going to be eliminated here. Yep, Mr. Dino finished uh, not too long before Jackamus did, and he actually uh, he finished ahead of Telio 1. So the results as we see it, Bryceoff winning the heat with a 546, CHX finishing in second with 611, followed by Mr. Dino, Telio 1, and Jackamus with a 645. Very close, though, between Mr. Dino, Telio 1, and Jackamus. Mr. Dino, 639, Telio 645. 40. If those two would have been in the final four, Talia would have been eliminated by one second. So unfortunately, that means the two-time runner-up of the Easy Percent Tournament has been eliminated, and we now have our final four.